My name is Teacher Joe. I'm going to teach you a few tricks in Microsoft Word. Welcome to this lesson. It will take us 10 minutes to learn a few basics about word processing and I'm using Microsoft Word. At the end of this lesson, you're going to have covered what you call the Home tab and we shall learn about the font, the size, the increase size, the bold, the italics, the underline, the subscript, the superscript, the font, the color, and the highlight. And then we shall possibly also have some time to go through the left alignment, right alignment, and justify. Good, we can start. Now, I have loaded Word document, and it is blank. But for us to use and to practice the lesson, we need some text. And we're going to use a feature that Microsoft has inbuilt most of us don't know about. If I type is equals to rand, and then I open a bracket, and then I want like 15 paragraphs of that text, and I close and press enter. Microsoft has put for me uh, several lines of text that we shall use for purpose of this lesson. So, number one is to learn how to do the selection. When you double click a word, that word is selected. But when you triple click, it selects the entire paragraph. So that is double click and triple click in Microsoft Office. So uh, you can also highlight by moving the cursor outside on the margins, and then it selects the entire line of text that you have highlighted. You can as well click and drag across multiple selections and select multiple uh, paragraphs. Now. This, if we were to start uh, by changing the font type, you select the text, then you come here uh, on the fonts and you choose a font that you want. It depends with how many fonts have been installed in your computer or device. So you can choose whichever you want and then you can increase its font size. If you, have, you want a specific size like 18, it goes to 18. If you want to reduce it, then it comes to that. You can use these buttons for increase font size and decrease font size. Well, now to make it bold, you just click B, then it becomes bold and U to underline it. So our text is bold, underlined, and the font type is called calligraphic 16 points. Now, um, to put a different font color, by default it comes to black. You can select paragraphs like this by clicking and dragging across them. That's another way of selection. And then you come here to the font. The drop down arrow gives you a range of colors. If you, want, if you love blue, uh, I believe it's dark blue, you can choose dark blue. Or if you want red, for the purpose of this lesson you can use red. Then it selects whatever you had selected is applied. Whatever you had not selected does, is not affected by the command that you have uh, initiated. Uh, then there is superscript and subscript. Superscript, so for example, I wanted to write here. For example, you can add a matching cover page, header, and sidebar. And then here we say 75 degrees. And I wanted this to be a superscript. To read it is degrees. I select that last character and then I come here and click superscript then that becomes superscript it becomes on top of the others um, if it is in mathematics and you are putting an exam maybe I can type here x squared times y cubed equals to z equals to z raised to the power of 5 so I can select the 5 and make it a superscript. I can select the, one, the 3 and make it a superscript. And I can select the 2 and make it a superscript. Then that now makes mathematical sense um, in, uh, in Word. And if I wanted to center align it, I can put it like that. Then it becomes, it appears at the center of the margin. The margin is all the way from here up to there. So when you center align, it comes to the middle. If 
you want to increase the font size again you can be able to do it like that finally uh, we have done the bold uh, we have not done the italics you just select the text and make it italized here then it becomes it, the, the, the type is different from the other one so this is what is called italics now bulleting and numbering is also available you can select a range like here uh, I've selected three sentences and I want them to be bullet the type to be possibly this tick and then I select the other three the last three <coughs> excuse me and then I want to make numbers on it so I want that list to be numbered list you have different types of numberings then you choose one so whatever you have selected is now numbered appropriately so uh, there is this uh, other command here we have not used it the one for increase indent and decrease indent if I select text like this I can increase its indent like that so it moves toward the right and if I decrease indent then it goes back up to the margin that it starts now uh, this one is not font color it's called highlighter if I select this maybe I want to create more emphasis on it then I want to highlight that text into this pink color so that text becomes highlighted if I wanted to do the same to the last sentence here I may not even need to do that uh, to, to, to select and then go again to highlight and, and choose a color I can select what I have already highlighted and then I just choose this command called format painter once I have done that the computer carries that command and if I come and apply it you can note the, the icon shape has changed the tooltip text then I select like that whatever format I had applied up there is painted to the other uh, portion down there so uh, basically that is the first commands here and um, voila that, that is it that is our lesson uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you as we do the ones for page layout uh, we cover a few things on page layout see you in a, in a short while